this way. This here. Hey guys, how have you all been? Today's video is going to be an afternoon to night and then morning routine video as many of you keep requesting for it. My routine varies every day depending on the situation. We try to go for walks most evenings. Sometimes I go to meet all the mum friends in the community. It's very important to spend time outdoors for physical and mental health both. Kaya loves outdoors like most kids. Parth has also been dedicatedly trying to teach Kaya balance her cycle without the training wheels and she finally got it. I will try to insert some shots of her riding the cycle without the wheels in my next video. It's almost summers in Bangalore and around 3.30 or so I head to the kitchen to make us a glass of smoothie. Musk melon are very refreshing for summers. I will not add any water to this because musk melon has enough water in it. I will also add one apple for sweetness. First I got three glasses for all of us, then Kaya didn't want to have that. She says she doesn't like the sandy texture in musk melon. Drink it and miss it. I'll try it if I like it. I'll have it, okay? Go ahead, have whatever you want. At around 4.30 or so, Kaya has her extracurricular classes. She goes for ballet which is happening online since pandemic started and also skating inside our community which she goes alternate days. Ballet is hard. This is why it's best to begin learning ballet when you are a small child so you can train your body into it as early as possible. Kaya had a notion that as soon as she joins ballet classes, she would start dancing like the movie Swan. <laughs> but that didn't happen and so she had started to lose interest. Yes, do you have your three things there, Yeah, a bracelet, a necklace, two necklaces. Ballet dance progress is very slow. It takes many years and a lot of practice to see a noticeable difference. Sometimes we get frustrated too. Kaya is usually very hungry around 6 or so because of all the physical activities. I've been wanting to make this corn and spinach sandwich for a long time. I heard it's a favorite of many and wanted to try it out. For this in a pan, I have added 1 spoon of butter. To that I added some corn and then added the chopped spinach. 
After they are fried a little, I will add very little amount of maida for the binding and then I will add half cup of milk and mix everything well. Then I will add some cheese, salt and pepper and that's it. It's pretty easy yet very tasty. Time to cook some dinner. Today's menu is dal makhani. I have been wanting to eat it for quite some time now. It's one of my favorite dishes to order at a Punjabi restaurant. I have soaked black urad dal and handful of rajma overnight. Now I'm going to pressure cook it for 15 minutes or so. While that's getting cooked, I will quickly wipe down some of the appliances to utilize the time. Because once I'm out of the kitchen, I forget the tasks and it's pending forever. I use a DIY solution of half vinegar, half water and little bit of dish soap. This is good for cleaning stainless steel appliances. In a pot, I will add a big chunk of butter. Yes, that's right. This dish has to be rich. If you want to make it on regular basis, you can use oil and add butter in the end. I will add 1 spoon of ginger and garlic paste, red chilli powder and a paste of 3 tomatoes and 1 spoon of tomato ketchup for color. Once it's well cooked, I will add the boiled dal to it. You can add water according to how thick or thin you want it. I will let it cook in slow for a while, then add butter and fresh cream at the end. These days, Parth have been working all evening till midnight. Most of his meeting starts at 7 in the evening, those busy hours of wrapping up the night. Tonight, I'm also making atta halwa the authentic way, the ratio being 1 cup of ghee to 1 cup of atta to 1 cup of sugar and 2 cups of water. To 1 cup of ghee, I will add 1 cup of atta and stir it continuously so that no lumps are formed and fry it till it's brown in color. To a saucepan, I will add 2 cups of water and add 1 cup of sugar and some dry fruits. Then once it's boiled, I will add that to the atta ghee mixture and it's done. It's easy yet super tasty. It's one of my favorite Indian desserts too. For the dal makhani tarka, I will add 1 teaspoon of ghee, then add kasuri methi and red chilli powder for some more extra color. Hi, 
after you finish your After dinner is done, I am going to meal prep a bit for tomorrow. Kaya has started school. Waking up early and getting her lunchbox ready is a task. After dinner every night, if Parth is free, he helps me load the dishwasher. I like to hand wash this cast iron pot always. A quick wipe down of the gas hob, backsplash walls and countertop is a must before I close the kitchen every night. I also scrub the sink and it's done. If we have dinner early and if we have time, I try to spend it with Kaya, but most of the times I'm too tired for that. <laughs> she thought all of the things were real and she ran her shoe fell off and, mm -hmm. and she was like, Oh no, I have no time. Get less about my shoe. Get more about me. <laughs> and she left her shoe and here. And that's how stylish people call coffee, I mean. How? Coffee. Is it? Glass? Shades. Okay. Definitely black. Definitely black. Kaya collected these dry leaves this afternoon from the community garden and she wanted to color them. Back in the kitchen again since I remembered to soak sabudana for tomorrow's breakfast, I am going to make sabudana khichri. For a non-soggy and fluffy sabudana khichri, add only 3 4th cup of water to 1 cup of sabudana. Not more than this. Kaya takes care of her nighttime chores these days and it's a relief. She has school tomorrow and her room needs a quick tidy up.
while i go to do my night time chores parth on most days will tuck her in her bed with a story if he has the energy and isn't busy with work but the grinch who lived just north of hubel the grinch hated christmas he hated christmas because nobody celebrated it with him he thought it it's just like eating delicious food and that that's it maybe yeah but whatever the reason his heart or his shoe he stood there on christmas eve hating the hoos also keeping her clothes ready for school the next day and also her school bag I also prefer to write down the menu for next day so that I'm prepared and I don't have to overthink the next day. Finally time for me to go to bed. It's very rare that I have the energy to read. I used to once upon a time and now it seems life is so busy all the time and I can't really concentrate to read a book anymore. Parth continues with his meetings and work late. Five minutes of peace before the storm starts of the busy morning. Rushing to prepare Kaya's lunch box, I'm making a veg pulao for lunch for her. To a pressure cooker, I have added jeera seeds, half onions, curry leaves, one green chilli, and chopped tomatoes. Then the chopped carrots, cauliflower, and peas. I will fry them for a while along with washed rice, and then add a pinch of garam masala and salt.
While I'm doing this, Parth helps me get Kaya ready. Today for her box, I have packed her some veg pulao, one boiled egg and broccoli for breakfast, strawberries for fruit break, some roasted sunflower seeds for snack and some sliced cucumber as a side with the pulao. And now I'm going to quickly clear the dishwasher and make some breakfast for me and Parth. The sabudana will look something like this in the morning, soaked the right amount, no water left yet it is soft. To that I will add some crushed peanuts, little bit of sugar and some salt. For making the sabudana khichdi to a pot, I will add some oil, then add the cut potatoes. After it's fried well, I will take it out, then add 1 spoon of ghee to the pot, then add some jeera seeds, slid green chilies and add the sabudana mix. I will also add some curry leaves and let it cook till it's transparent. At last, I will add some chopped coriander leaves. It is one of the quickest breakfasts to make and is very tasty too. And that's it for today's one. I hope you liked it and I will be back with a new video really soon. Bye.